Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building in Newcrest and we're going to be doing one of those let's rebuild a build that I've already done for my save file kind of things where I've already built this lot for my save file but I did it before I had my channel so it's really old and really needed an update so I wanted to redo it. And since we have for rent now, I figured, you know, originally this lot was a kind of like fake townhouse. So I basically had a family living in one side of the lot and then the other like townhouse next to it was just empty. But now that we have for rent, I actually, you know, I could actually make it functional. And since the Sims team have supposedly fixed a lot of the for rent issues that we had or that a lot of people had where, you know, their saves were corrupting and stuff like that with these like multi-unit lots. You know, apparently they fixed that. So hopefully it should be totally safe to like play in a build like this or have a build like this in your save file personally i haven't had any issues with corruption and save stuff like that you know since for rent came out but i know some people have so yeah now that that is supposed to be fixed you guys can probably expect to see a couple more of these like townhouses apartments or like multi-family lots basically here on the channel because I have a lot of them that I really want to build and I just never did because when for rent came out a lot of people started having those corruption issues and stuff like that so I didn't want to like put out speed builds and upload builds to the gallery that could potentially mess with someone's save so I just didn't build those things but now that they're supposed to be safe again you can definitely expect to see a couple more of these kind of like townhouse builds or you know, multi-family builds or, you know, just stuff like that. But yeah, so this one, basically, getting back to the topic at hand, this build is for the wall family. If you guys have downloaded the, like, first version of my save file, you will know that the wall family were already in Newcrest. They already had a house, like I said. They actually own one of the, like, retail lots in Magnolia Promenade. They own a little toy store. So, not really little, but yeah, they own a toy store, and that's kind of like, you know, their career, their business, that's what they do. And I wanted to build them a new house, and like a new townhouse kind of thing that definitely fits into the, like, style that I went for, for this area of Newcrest. This is the, I cannot remember the name of the neighborhood in Newcrest, but it's the neighborhood that has those five lots all, like, in a row next to each other. So there's like a 40 by 20 lot, two, no, not two, three 30 by 20 lots, and then a 40 by 30 lot. All of the other ones are already finished, and I think they're up as videos on my channel. I believe they would be. If they are up on up as videos on the channel, they'll be in like my Rebuild Newcrest playlist, which I will leave linked. But yeah, so basically these two Sims, they're actually adults, they're not young adults, they are actually adults, but in my head, in my like little story that I have for them, they've been together like forever. They met maybe in high school, they got married like right out of university, so they've been together a while and they've always wanted kids, they've always loved kids. I think I have both of them. I think, or at least one of them, I think studies like psychology and in my head, you know, in The Sims it's just psychology, but in my head it would be like child psychology. So they're really like, they've always wanted kids, they've, you know, always wanted like a big family, but they've been struggling to have a baby, you know, basically since they've been married. And they just, they haven't had the time to, not, not time, but they haven't had the chance to like have a baby and they've tried and they've tried and they haven't been able to so they kind of like they have this extra bedroom in their townhouse so this one that i'm building for them that you guys will see me furnish on camera is i believe a two bedroom two bathroom yeah it's a two bedroom two bathroom townhouse there's a main bedroom on the third floor that has an ensuite that's basically their bedroom their space 
the landing up there is quite big as well so i turned that into kind of like an office space for them then on the second floor there's a bedroom and then a like bathroom and laundry room and then on the first floor is where i have the kitchen dining room living room space so basically they have this extra bedroom that i don't furnish on camera but you guys will see it in the tour at the end but basically I furnished that as a nursery and it's furnished as a nursery that doesn't get used. So it's kind of like, you know, there are a few things in like odd places like, you know, they've just been stored there and I have the lights turned off. Like it doesn't get used at the moment, but you know, they really want kids. So they've recently actually been talking and thinking about, you know, maybe adopting. So hopefully sometime soon like if you guys end up downloading the save or playing with this family then you know maybe sometime soon they can actually you know end up adopting a couple of kids or maybe like a kid or whatever but i have stuff in that nursery for a like i have a baby's bassinet in there and then a crib for like an infant and stuff i have a changing table you know a bunch of stuff like that but yeah so maybe they'll end up adopting like a little infant or a baby or something and yeah they can start their family but until that point, their baby is their dog, Nugget. I believe Nugget is a bull mastiff, I think. I think that's what she is. But yeah, so they have a dog called Nugget, which I don't know, I just, I love that dog. <laughs> I think it's a she. It might be a he. I cannot remember. I think it's a he. My bad. But yeah, so they do have a dog at the moment. So I do put in some dog items and like food bowls and like, you know, toy boxes, dog beds, you know, all of that stuff. And then obviously they do have their own backyard because obviously both of these townhouses have their own backyards. The backyards, I actually couldn't set as a room. It just didn't want to work with me. So it's technically set as a shared space. But I do have gates that lead into both of the backyards that you can easily lock. In my save file, I do have it locked so that, you know, on the one on the, the left hand side, you know, nobody can enter apart from my sims. Right hand side, whoever lives in the right will have access to that. But yeah, so I do have it set up like that, so it kind of works. But I do have both of these townhouses fully set up on the gallery as, you know, separate units. So they both have their separate units. They, you know, fully functional, all of that stuff. I have playtested both of them. I actually decided to create another family. I wasn't going to do this originally. But then I had the idea of, I furnished the right hand one, the one that you guys won't see on camera that was supposed to be empty i did furnish that off camera and i did fully furnish it i didn't put a lot of personality into it but i decided to go with the idea that jordan who's actually i don't think i've mentioned them their names <laughs> but jordan and marsha are the sims that originally lived on this lot but basically in my head you know they actually do own this lot so they do own the townhouses they kind of obviously live here and then they rent out the one on the right but in my head you know they rent out the one on the right fully furnished so i did obviously fully furnish it and i furnished it in a way where there's a lot of similar items to the items that i use in their townhouse so it's a lot of like similar style things so i use a lot of dream home decorator for example so a lot of the things look like you know when they furnish their townhouse they also furnish the other one if that makes sense so like maybe they renovated both of them at the same time they were obviously built at the same time because they match the other lots in this area so the same maybe like construction company or development company actually developed all of these lots at the same time so they all look very similar they're all in a similar style similar like materials all of that stuff but yeah, so I figured, you know, they have that other townhouse fully furnished. And in my head, they actually rented out to a sim and their nephew. So I did create them. I actually posted pictures of them over on Twitter. And they're called Ross, Ross Stevens. Yeah, Ross Stevens and their nephew, Josh. So in my head, Ross is actually, they are a young adult. And they're actually like very career oriented, very career focused. They travel a lot for their like job. 
not really, but you know, like use your imagination. They're actually a, I believe a food critic. Either they're a food critic or an art critic. I cannot remember, but I think they're a food critic. And in my head, you know, they probably do travel a lot for their job. Maybe they judge like cooking shows and, you know, do reviews. And so they get flown out to all of these other different places. They travel a lot, basically. They're very career oriented. And so they rent this townhouse fully furnished because they're not home a lot. In my head, you know, they maybe, you know, they'll be home for like a week and then be gone for like two weeks at a time or, you know, stuff like that. They don't spend a lot of their like free time at home, basically. And then when they work, they don't usually work from home. They usually work, you know, from a different location. So they rent this place fully furnished and they don't really mind, they haven't really, you know, personalized it, they haven't like given it like any decorative personality, it's kind of just the way they rented it and it's fine with them, they don't really care enough to like fully decorate it and go all crazy. So yeah, they're also still a young adult, so yeah, you know, settling down, all of that stuff isn't really something that they're very like, you know like focused on at the moment let's just put it that way they didn't really picture having kids around like anytime soon and so unfortunately when their sister actually passed away their sister ross's sister obviously and her husband passed away they actually you know left behind their son their child son josh and because in my head ross and their sister were actually very very close they were very very close in age their sister was actually a little bit older like a couple of years older but not uh, not a lot older like they were in high school together basically maybe they're like two or three years apart at most so they're, they were always very very close they were best friends and they were they were the only family that, that they had so when they when their sister passed away you know ross was kind of like the only family that josh had and they obviously didn't want him to go to someone else they didn't want to put him in foster care or anything like that so they decided that they were going to raise him but now ross needs to get used to having a child around the house and having to be home and having to like you know maybe they've decided to step away a little bit from the whole traveling aspect of their career and they've been taking a few more like jobs that are a little bit more local a little bit more close by maybe working from home a little bit as well wherever they can because in my head this was a fairly recent thing like you won't see any kids toys or kids clutter or anything like that around the house in the other townhouse so where ross lives you won't say you don't see kids clutter or you know like there's been a child living here forever so they do have their own bedroom that townhouse is a two bedroom one bathroom but you know the other bedroom that's kind of like the kids room is a little bit smaller it's only a two-story townhouse the one on the right whereas this one that we're furnishing is a three-story one like i said it's also obviously quite a bit bigger than the one on the left but yeah so not the one on the left the one on the right my uh, my brain is all mixed up today <laughs> if you couldn't tell but yeah so ross has you know they've needed to get used to being around kids obviously they love their nephew otherwise they probably wouldn't have taken him in but they love their nephew they absolutely love their sister as well so obviously you know they definitely want to take good care of their nephew they love josh but they're not used to being a like parent figure if that makes sense they were always used to being like the fun uncle <laughs> and not really the like you know parent figure around so yeah it's definitely taking some adjusting they're also quite different ross is very like outgoing and obviously used to traveling used to being around people whereas josh is a little bit more introverted a little bit more like quiet he prefers you know being alone being with maybe like a few close friends not really a very much like go out and meet new people kind of kid and especially now that he's lost his parents he's also a little bit more you know a little bit more introverted a little bit more clingy as well i do have that as one of his like childhood phases that he's going through <laughs> and you know another funny thing that i thought i would add to them is that ross is actually i believe a cat person where yeah ross is a cat person they don't have a cat but they're like a cat lover 
They don't have any pets at the moment because, like I said, Ross traveled a lot. So having a pet at home just wouldn't make sense. So, yeah, Ross is a cat lover, but Josh is actually a dog lover. So, you know, Josh has been asking for a pet, but obviously he wants a dog. Whereas a Ro Ross would definitely prefer more like having a cat. But that also means that Josh gets along really, really well with Nugget from next door. And obviously Jordan and Marsha, because they, they love kids and they've probably known Ross for a few years as well. He's They've probably lived there for quite a while. So, you know, they're close, you know, as they can be. Like, they're neighborly. They're, they, they're all friends as well. So in my head, you know, if Ross does need to be away for any length of time, like a few days or whatever, Josh probably just stays with Jordan and Marsha and, you know, obviously they live right next door. So it would be very easy for them to just take care of him for a day or two if Ross needs it really badly to, like, go away for work. And then also, like, Nugget, you know, Josh loves living next to Nugget. He, like, the dog, they're like best friends, <laughs> even though it's not his dog. So, yeah, I don't know, I just, I really, really love that, and when I was creating them and thinking about all of that stuff, I was having such a blast, and it really, really made me want to play with them, even though I said this on Twitter, but I always create sims when I'm not intending to actually play with them. Like, I create sims that I love when I'm not intending to actually play with them, and that has happened so, so often with especially my save file sims because I do go in and I think about their personalities, I think about what they would be like, their stories, their, you know, background, all of that stuff. And because I do that for my save, I end up with these stories and sims that I would love to play with, but I don't ever have the time to actually play with them. So, <laughs> yeah, so you guys have to put up with listening to me ramble about them for ages. Because that is the closest I'm going to get to actually playing out their stories, is telling you guys about them. <laughs> but yeah, so we've actually moved on to the second floor of this townhouse. And you will see I did add an easel because Marsha is quite into painting. She does enjoy painting. And then Jordan is actually into robotics as well. So maybe he makes some of those toy robots for the store. Or maybe it's just something that he picked up in university and enjoys. So they do have that big robotics station upstairs in their like little office space that you will see me working on. But yeah, that's the like last like common area that we're going to be working on. Then we're going to do the bedroom, like the main bedroom. And then we're going to go ahead and move outside to the backyard. Both of the backyards are fairly similar. They have a couple of plant pots. They have a grill. They have a six seater outdoor table. They have, you know, a kind of like built-in kitchenette kind of thing with a pizza, pizza maker, pizza oven thing that came with the Home Chef Hustle stuff back. They also have a bar and an outdoor like sink. And that is basically it for the outside spaces. Like I said, I wanted these buildings to feel very, like very similar, very like they were decorated and furnished at the same time by the same people, if that makes sense. And usually if I do something like this, I will add like personality to both of the lots and make it feel like personal to whatever sims are living there. I did do that with this one, obviously with all of the dog stuff and the entire style of all of the furnishings are very much Jordan and Marsha's style because they own this place, they furnished it. But because Ross isn't used to being home, they don't spend a lot of time at home, like I said, they haven't really personalized their space and that is actually something that I intentionally put into their story because of that. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But I absolutely love the way this build turned out, you guys. I worked on it for quite a while. I started it back in this started it back in I believe December. Then I did a little bit of it in maybe like February or no not February, January or something. And then I went ahead and finished it off just last week, I think it was. Or maybe earlier this week, can't remember. But yeah, so I really, really like the way this turned out. If you guys do want to download it, by the way, it is up on the gallery. I have it up on the gallery as a residential rental. So it has both of the townhouses totally set up and separated. They both have, obviously, you know, their own lot trades and all of that stuff. 
so it would be very easy for you to download it and put it into your game. I will also have Jordan and Marsha up on the gallery as well as their own separate household obviously. And then I will also make sure to upload Ross and Josh as well to the gallery as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and download both of these families and play with them, then you can totally do that. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys like how this turned out. We're just finishing up the little, like, main bedroom space. It's very, like, it's very, I don't want to say plain because it's not plain. But it's a little bit more minimal and a little bit less cluttered and colorful than I would usually make my family homes. Just because these sims, they do enjoy a more modern, contemporary style, lighter colors, you know. A little bit less clutter, they do enjoy that. They put all of their color, they put all of their like colorful sides into their toy store. Their toy store is like totally colorful and cluttered and very much like a kid's idea of heaven probably <laughs> so yeah i didn't do a speed build for that but it is up on the gallery if you want to download it i'll see if i can find the download link and put it down below in the description as well as well as the download link for this build if i can find it i will put it up there otherwise just go to my gallery and filter by retail lots and you will definitely be able to find it because i don't build retail lots all that often i think i have maybe like four of them like that i've like ever done if it's even been that much so yeah you will easily find it if you just filter by retail lot on my gallery but my gallery id all of that stuff download links everything like that is in the description as always my tray files obviously will be going up for channel members and then in three weeks they'll be up on tumblr for everyone but yeah with all of that said you guys we're gonna go ahead finish off a little bit of finishing touches in the backyard and then we're gonna go ahead and jump on in to the game so that I can give you guys a live tour of this place. Okay so here we are with the finished townhouses and this is what it looks like from the outside and this is what I meant by it fits in with the other buildings on this like spot like this little like part of Newcrest. It fits in with the park. I believe this is the restaurant and bar. We have a cafe and library and then we have a pool next door as well but yeah i wanted to make it fit in like i said so i think we're gonna start off with the right hand side which is where ross and their nephew josh are actually going to be living in my save so i don't have them on the lot currently but this obviously because this isn't my finished save it's just the building save that i have but i will put a picture of them up on the screen for you guys but yeah, so as you come in, you have a little seating area right here on the front porch. Obviously, you know, front door, you come in, you have the living space, TV, you know, nice big living area. We have a little dining space over there. We have a fairly nice kitchen, very modern, very minimal as well, like I said. So yeah, nice modern kitchen. They obviously have, you know, a staircase that goes upstairs. Outside in the yard, we have, like I mentioned, a little bar, a little built-in kitchen, outdoor kitchen, net type thing. So they have a pizza oven, they have obviously an outdoor sink, obviously, you know, their, like, grill, dining space, couple of planters, some more seating. And that's basically it for the outside. The only kind of, like, child-like thing that has been added to the... I guess communal part of this townhouse is this little hopscotch court that I think Josh would have drawn <laughs> there himself when he moved in. But yeah, so that's the first floor of this townhouse. Going upstairs, this one is only two stories. So upstairs we have a little tiny desk workspace over here at the on the little landing area. And this is actually where we have the main bedroom as well, so Ross's bedroom. And they actually have a little TV in their bedroom as well. So yeah, they can lie in bed and watch TV. There's a little balcony out here as well with a little chess table out. And then over on this side, we have the bathroom. So nice plain little bathroom. And then we have the small kids room as well. So this is obviously Josh's room. And as you can see, you know, he has definitely added some personality to it himself. You know, he had, he's added some of his posters, you know, some of his clutter and stickers and toys and all of that stuff. But yeah, so this would be Josh's bedroom. But that is basically it for the right-hand townhouse, you guys. 
So going into the left, going back down, going into the left, this is the one that you saw me furnish. So this is where Jordan and Marsha Wall will be living in my save. And they are the owners of this lot as well. So they are the landlords. But coming in, they just have a nice little front porch area, like I like very similar to the other one, but they have a couple of planters out here as well. So you come in and clearly their house is a little bit more cluttered, a little bit more decorated. You know, they spend quite a bit of time here. So they have a lot of clutter everywhere, phones and empty teacups or coffee cups, you know, big TV. They have a little bed for little nuggets over there as well by their electric fireplace. You know, bookshelf with clutter, place for some family pictures. Over here they have little nuggets like food and toys and stuff. And some more bookshelves. They have a little small dining room space. And then they have a little bit of a bigger kitchen as well because Marsha does love cooking and baking. So she does have a fairly nice kitchen. <laughs> she loves like all of those kind of things. So yeah, she has a nice kitchen, all of the appliances and you know, all of that fun stuff. Then going outside, they also have a little bar area, a little bit of a different configuration than the one next door, but still very like similar items and all of that stuff. But yeah, they have a little bar space. They have some more do like dog bowls outside as well. Realistically, this might be like water or something, but we don't have that in The Sims. But yeah, they have some more dog bowls outside. <laughs> and then they just have some planters in their yard. They have a little bird feeder, you know, grill seating table you know all of that normal outdoor space <laughs> basically now going upstairs they have a little bit of a bigger landing marsha balcony space that they actually have a little yoga space out on so you know maybe marsha or jordan can do some yoga outside and then this is actually where they have kind of like their guest bathroom so it is a full bathroom but this is the one that guests would probably use or kids if they ever end up having kids but yeah, so full bathroom and then this is also where they have the separate little laundry room space as well. And then this is actually the little kids slash nursery to be room basically. So this is where they would have their baby stay whenever they have them. So, you know, clearly they have planned ahead. I'm going to turn the lights on really quickly so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> What I'm talking about but as you could see I did have the lights turned off because they wouldn't go in this room all that often. Maybe Marsha stores some of her older paintings in here for now but they have space for a bassinet for a little like crib. They have a like toy like dollhouse. They have obviously some books a little nursery corner with a rocking chair toy box you know. All of that stuff that they don't really have a use for at the moment, but hopefully soon they'll be able to adopt the baby. But yeah, so that's the second floor. And going upstairs again, we actually have the big landing slash office space for these sims. I, but so, I'm sorry, my phone just started ringing. Let me just mute that. <laughs> but yeah, so up here they have their little office space. They both have their own computers and desk areas. They have Jordan's like robotics station as well because like I said he is into robotics. We also have little nuggets over here just chilling because they like nugget has another bed up here as well. <laughs> so yeah they have their little office space and then obviously you know their big main bedroom. Their bedroom they have Marsha's vanity and then they also have their big own like ensuite bathroom that I absolutely love. I, I love the way this looks. So yeah, I love that bathroom. And then they also have access to the little like utility space from inside their like inside their townhouse because, you know, they are the owners. So they have like the water heaters, you know, the sprinkler system like electrical box all of that stuff and they also have access to the roof space because i do have some eco stuff in here as well so they have their solar water heaters solar panels you know stuff like that that they might need to maintain so they do have access to that as well but yeah that is basically it for this build you guys But yeah, that is it for this build, you guys. Sorry about that weird, like, cut just then. I just, I had to answer the phone. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this build. You know, if you did, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel and want to see more Sims content, 
Feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. Now onto something a little bit like unrelated to this specific video. But I will be giving my channel members early access to this video so they will be seeing it a day before everyone else on the channel. If you want to find out how to become a channel member so that you can get early access to videos, you know, tray files, my save file and a bunch of other perks as well. Click on the little join button next to the subscribe button and it will tell you all about the perks and different membership tiers, all of that stuff that you can get. But yeah, so another kind of related channel thing is I just wanted to remind you guys that I do actually have a EA creator code that you can use. I will put it up on the screen if you purchase any Sims 4 pack or bundle on the EA app or on Origin. So unfortunately not on Steam or on console. But on the EA app or on Origin, if you use my code when you check out my code, like I said, on the screen, then I will receive a small percentage of the sale of whatever you buy. So it doesn't give you a discount, but it does help support me and the channel without having, without costing you anything extra, if that makes sense. I just receive a small percentage of, you know, the money that you give to EA, basically. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and do that, if you end up purchasing anything, especially when you know there's sales going on, all of that stuff, keep my code in mind if you would like to support me and the channel without, you know, paying anything extra. But I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited about seeing some more things. I have a couple of bigger builds in the works as well that I do post on Twitter periodically. So if you guys aren't following me over on Twitter, I will have my Twitter in the description as always. So I do post on Twitter periodically, you know, sneak peeks about what I'm working on. I have like five or six big, big bolds that I'm working on that are just taking me forever. <laughs> but yeah, I have some bigger things coming up. And then, like I said, a couple more multifamily, apartment, townhouse type bolds as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, and I hope you're all having a great weekend, and I will talk to you all in my very next video. Bye, everyone.